Uh, which will be dedicated to, uh, to our Bluetooth access uh, with IPSN. So Bluetooth access means access with your uh, mobile phone uh, to access your, your building. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, the presentation of today's webinar. Uh, I'd like to remind you that you can uh, ask all of your questions in the chat. Uh, I'm Clement Morissette and my colleague uh, Laurent, the product manager for access control at FDI, will be very happy to answer all of your questions. So please feel free to ask any question you would like and, and we'll be happy to answer everyone and hope you will learn everything about Bluetooth access uh, and IPSM. But first of all, uh, even if I think some of you knows already uh, FDI and who we are, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, our company and also everything we propose regarding uh, access control system. So, you know, uh, FDI has been founded in 1989. And since 1989, we have been developing uh, access control system, but much more. And you'll be able to see in front of you uh, the success story of FDI since 1989. So after its foundation uh, uh, 31 years ago, uh, FDI is now belongs to the email group since 2000. So uh, this, this uh, you know, since we belong to uh, to the EMED group, we have we have uh, developed our, our range of access control system uh, in France, but uh, also in the export countries. Uh, as mentioned earlier, our main business is access control system, but we are able to propose also a door entry panel with a specific uh, um, features and specific functionalities for any kind of business. And due to our know-how in uh, RFID system and, and this kind of uh, contactless access, we have also proposed and developed uh, a product for uh, um, other companies who are looking for not only uh, an R&D uh, to develop a product, but also a production because everything is in one place. We are not only developing one product, but uh, we are able also to, to, to manage everything and to industrialize uh, 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 the product that the company wants to have. Uh, uh, in total, the company is composed of 100 uh, people, full-time employees. And the very important thing to know is that 40% uh, of the staff is composed of uh, R&D people. We have three different departments uh, here in the company. The first one is developing, uh, uh, developing let's say, the hardware of our system. Second part is developing the firmware, so I mean the embedded software, which will be in charge of the functionalities inside the hardware. And the last part is to develop uh, um, uh, software uh, to manage our access control system, intercom system, and much more. So due to all of that knowledge, uh, our, our clients are composed of a worldwide network of partners, distributors, installers, but also uh, system integrators. Uh, all around the world. So uh, as mentioned, our head office is in France, in the west part of France. Uh, so our core market remains Europe and, and, and also Russia. Uh, but because we have a, a department dedicated to uh, developing any kind of products, we uh, propose a, a product access control system and access control solution uh, worldwide. So it means uh, even if uh, we started in France, we find the solution and we find the way to propose uh, to propose our, our system worldwide. So uh, that's a really important things to know because as we have a dedicated team in the R&D uh, for the export markets, we also have the, all the technical supports and our idea at FDI is to have a partnership with our with our clients worldwide to uh, to provide them with all the technical technical supports needed uh, regarding all of the, of the projects that they might have. Uh, and due to all this uh, organization, we managed to, to of course, to, to have, uh, to remain stable our market share in Europe and also develop our business in Europe. But we, are, we have seen also a strong growth in Southeast Asia, but even, even in Australia. So uh, our, 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 um, our range of product is composed of three different segments. Um, the first segments you can see on the left hand side of the screen is standalone system. Uh, for standalone system, we have, uh, of course, keypad, and those keypads are, uh, are mainly for a small uh, installation. Uh, we have three different kinds of, of keypads. Uh, uh, just to mention, so standalone systems, so keypads, uh, even wireless keypad, which could be uh, also a very interesting 
in this kind of, uh, uh, of environment when everybody is looking for a, a wireless system. And also in the same uh, standalone uh, range of products, we propose a Transit Plus, which is a two-door controller, which can manage uh, proximity access, but also car park access. And big advantage of that standalone system is that you manage all the access control with an app on your smartphone. So this is for the standalone system. And after that, we have an, uh, a second segment of product, which is uh, uh, easy door controller. Easy door controller is, is you manage your access control via uh, a free web software. And with this free web software, you connect to your account, uh, you create your site. And as soon as you program a key, the key will carry the information to update the controller's memory. So that's what we call the virtual uh, network. And uh, our flagship product and IP product uh, where you can manage a, a, a huge online system uh, for your access control is iPerson. So iPerson is the, is the online system and it will be uh, the main purpose of today's webinar. And, and for today, so we'll talk, of course, about iPerson and uh, about uh, the Bluetooth access uh, managed with iPerson. So uh, the good things to know is that iPerson proposes not only access control, as you can see, but because uh, uh, the product is everyday developed for new functionalities, uh, we have integrated uh, uh, already uh, many, many, many different kinds of, uh, of uh, functionalities, of features, and we'll not stop with that feature. So I hope in a, in a few years' time or in a few months' time, you will see much more uh, uh, integration with iPerson. So the first integration, uh, as mentioned, we belong to the UMED group. So uh, intercom and access control is a uh, main purpose of, of the group. And so the first integration is regarding uh, intercom integration with a, a well-known UMED brand uh, for intercom called Two Voice uh, and Hypercom. So the first one is a wiring uh, intercom system and the second one is an IP, IP system. So every, all those two systems are integrating uh, inside the iPerson system. So of course, access control is our main purpose. Uh, uh, today we'll see uh, an alternative of proximity card with Bluetooth access, but also in the access control system and for a hospitality project or mixed development building, we propose integration with Onity. Onity is a, it's a software company which uh, uh, proposed the management of the, uh, of the hotel. So uh, iPerson in that case in charge of the common areas of the building. Uh, and then when a, a guest is coming at the reception, pro, uh, program the keys for his accommodation. Uh, also with these keys, he will be able to, uh, to access the common areas such as, uh, such as the car park, such as lift uh, and this kind, this kind of, uh, of areas. So because we were talking about lift, uh, lift uh, uh, also uh, iPerson has strong knowledge and strong uh, know-how in managing your lift on site. We have different kind of, of, uh, of uh, management for the lift. Uh, the first uh, possibility, what we call low level integration, it's uh, managing your lift with relays, so with output cards. So one output with release, uh, 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 one relay, and then uh, authorize the, um, the resident or the employee to access a designated floor. But we also integrate for the lift, uh, uh, we call it high level uh, interface. And we have those kind of high level interface with uh, uh, at the moment two, two brands to a very famous lift brands. The first one called Coney that everybody knows. And the second one is Otis. So, and with those two integration, uh, we have two, again, two different ways of, uh, of integrating the lift. The first one is COP and the second one is DOP. So just to be very simple, because we'll be able to do uh, other webinar to explain that, uh, this COP is uh, one reader outside the lift and uh, inside the lift, sorry. And DOP is one reader on the destination operating panel outside the lift. Um, once again, security is our main purpose at FDI as an access control company. Uh, and we also integrate uh, always in that concern of security uh, CCTV. So CCTV, we integrate the ONVIF protocol. And of course, the UMET uh, CCTV and the integration is all done with uh, uh, the NVR of UMET. Uh, the, la the other thing also to, to access uh, your building, but for car park management in Ipersen, we integrate the Innova platform and that Innova platform uh, gives you the possibility just by, en by entering the license plate number in Ipersen to allow the access to resident, employee or visitor 
uh, to the car park just by uh, entering and programming his uh, license plate number. And uh, the, the last two features we propose, uh, had been features we proposed, it was uh, the topic of our webinar of last week. It's uh, a booking management system and, and, and visitor management system. Uh, but today, as an access control company, uh, I will introduce you and that the main topics of today's webinar, it's the possibility to uh, access a building using your smartphone. And for any kind of project, you'll be able to, to use this, uh, these opportunities and these opportunities of uh, accessing a building with your smartphone will be all related to, to the IPAS system. So let's talk about um, uh, showing you uh, what is uh, mobile access by FDR. So first of all, I will start with a description of the system. Uh, uh, what is uh, Bluetooth access when we are talking about uh, contactless access? What is Bluetooth access in that case? Um, because uh, it's, we're always talking at FDI on a global uh, solution for all of your project, whatever the size is. So uh, we have a, a new range of reader dedicated to, uh, to, uh, to your building, dedicated to Bluetooth access, which offer uh, many more advantages uh, while, while installing those readers on site. Uh, of course, uh, uh, because of this whole, uh, whole uh, solution, for uh, access control and Bluetooth access, uh, you will see all the advantages of using our, uh, our FDI uh, Bluetooth access and our, our solution in general. Um, how to use it, because uh, it's also really important to know uh, how to use, uh, how to use the, uh, the solution, how to use uh, uh, mobile access with FDI. And at the end, I will finish this today's webinar with uh, a, to, to show you uh, on what kind of project for which segment of the market uh, uh, access with Bluetooth access control and Bluetooth access is, is, uh, could be uh, really interesting and really, uh, really uh, will bring you a lot of advantages uh, by proposing the solution. So, you know, FD, uh, everybody has already used uh, uh, access control and has already used uh, uh, proximity card to access a building. So basically, uh, accessing a building when you have access, con uh, access control installed, it's present a card to a reader in proximity or in long range using a remote control and it opens the door or a gate. But now by, by using Bluetooth access solution, it's uh, presenting you, your smartphone to a reader or in a long range access, it will, it will uh, grant the access to the building. So because we propose a, a huge solution uh, a global solution for, for your building, for your access control project uh, by using IPASAN and Bluetooth access and the new range of reader I will show you afterwards. You can adapt the credential according to the user's uh, needs and user's uh, requirements. Uh, in the same time, you know, in a mobile first world, uh, I think Bluetooth access can bring uh, more security because people will be more involved in the security policy of a company, for instance. So uh, Bluetooth access is not only uh, having something uh, uh, fun uh, uh, for, for the resident or the employee, it's also uh, proposing uh, something and a solution which will enhance the security uh, of, uh, of your building, of, of your project or any kind of, of a building. Um, and and the, the, best, the, the best thing with Bluetooth access uh, uh, and managing your, uh, your, accessing for the, for your access for the manager is that uh, uh, Bluetooth access and, and mobile access offers a lot of flexibility and it's, it's a good combi combination between today's mobility and physical access control. Uh, uh, we'll see later in the presentation, uh, I will show it to you, that everybody is looking for something that they can manage remotely and the most optimized uh, um, way to to uh, to move and to access the building and the optimized way for for the for the traffic of people on site. So uh, uh, we we are able to to uh, to uh, to propose you uh, everything you need regarding access control and and because for some of you and because for a big part of the people, especially the manager, uh, uh, virtual credential is a kind of of revolution in managing the access. I will just uh, show you on that slide the different uh, uh, things and the comparison between uh, the physical uh, cre uh, credential you might use today and, and the difference uh, uh, between the physical uh, credential and virtual credential. Uh, in terms of management, uh, at the moment when, you, um, when you're dealing uh, and when you're proposing uh, a physical credentials such as cards, 
keys, remote control. Uh, this is a process of, uh, of buying and proposing that to, to your end user. So, of course, you do a purchase order. You have everything regarding delivery, uh, stock, uh, and you know, as FDI, as we are proposing our product worldwide, this, uh, this, uh, this, all this process might be sometimes very heavy. And, and, and even if we are trying to have the most cost efficient uh, process, it could be also uh, high price in comparison with a small, uh, small plastic thing, which is a card and with uh, this plastic thing sometimes even if it allows uh, the resident or an employee to access the building, it doesn't have a big value for, for him. So uh, uh, when you're dealing with physical uh, access and physical credential, you have all of this process. So this process is heavy. Uh, just to show you now uh, what is the process with virtual credential. So you're still doing with, dealing with purchase order, but because it's a virtual, you get rid of all this time spending about delivery, uh, logistic, and so on. As it is everything online and as it is everything virtual, we just purchase it. We create a, a, an account to to uh, to allow you to use uh, uh, to use the um, Bluetooth access, and in the same time, you get rid of all this uh, uh, physical cost. You get also you get rid of all this. Uh, um, this time spending in managing your stock as it is virtual it's just uh, a web uh, a web based system that allow you to to manage the uh, the bluetooth access so uh, we want to propose a, an adapted solution and this adapted solution regarding uh, uh, the offer with uh, iperson the iperson system this adapted solution needs to have the adapted hardware on site so uh, FDI has been designed a completely new range of freedom uh, with one design easy to recognize and, and, uh, and easy to integrate to any kind of, of uh, buildings. So these new, new readers allow you to use, of course, Bluetooth access, the purpose of today's webinar, but you can also use uh, any kind of proximity uh, credentials, such as keys, cards, whatever it is. And uh, uh, once again, it's adapted to any kind of building. It's IK10 rate, uh, rated, so it means it's vandal resistant and it's IP65. So it can be whether it can be installed, uh, installed uh, uh, inside or outside, uh, whatever you like. Uh, and also this, this, we have a unique range of readers and this unique range of reader has always the same design. They are proposed with Wigand RS485. Uh, Keep in mind that it's also an advantage of using this new range of reader because it's Wigan and RS485 on the same reader. Then you choose uh, uh, the, uh, what, you, what you like to, to, have, uh, to have on your project. So it's only one part number, which could be really interesting. RS485 maybe for lift management would we'll see also today that uh, Bluetooth, ac Bluetooth access can be used uh, inside the lift. Uh, but uh, the main advantages of using the iPerson system with this new range of reader is the fact that we have developed a two smart bus, uh, uh, which, which offer many possibilities and also a lot of securities for, for your site. Uh, with two smart bus, it will be, it will be a security system and safety system will be a, a topic for a um, webinar next week. I'm just mentioning a few things uh, regarding the two smart bus uh, of our new range of reader because it offers many possibilities. You know, Wigan is, of, uh, is a universal protocol, easy to, to hack, let's say. But with our encrypted two-wire bus, we offer you a secure communication between uh, the controller and the readers. But not only, and that's uh, another biggest uh, advantage of our uh, um, two smart bus, is that you are able to upgrade the firmware uh, via the two-wire two smart communication between the controller and the readers. It means you don't have to go on site uh, to, to do a, any upgrade, uh, you just you can just do it uh, online using ipassan.com and, and uh, from any, anywhere in the world as soon as you are connected to the system. Uh, and also what is really important for, for the person in charge of the access or in charge of the security of the building, it's uh, it, that you have the full monitoring uh, of the installation, which uh, allows you, allows you to, to see uh, whether you have a wiring, a wiring trouble or a shortcut or anything which could happen uh, on site. Uh, and the biggest advantage is, uh, of, of course, it's also, it's only two wires between the, the readers and the controller. So you, you have uh, many, many advantages as I just mentioned, but it's also really, really uh, cost efficient uh, installation and also um, time efficient, let's say. 
because it's only two wires between the controller and the reader. So you get rid of uh, all the, uh, the, uh, the, the time spending in wiring, cabling, as it is only two wires, it optimizes uh, your, your installation. So by using all of this system and the Bluetooth access with iPerson, you have all the advantages of, of an all-in-one software. So you have, of course, all the advantages of contactless, contactless sorry, access so, uh, uh, with Bluetooth, but you have also all the advantages of the integration uh, I've shown, uh, just shown you before. So that's uh, something uh, really important. And, you know, as an access control company, our security is our main concern. So uh, by using iPerson and, access, and Bluetooth access, you have you enhance the security of your building and we also uh, offer uh, uh, of course for the access with bluetooth but with all the, the bus and the the, the protocol the communication protocol we offer the last standard of the technology so uh, that's something uh, really important when we are talking about security so bluetooth access and iperson also uh, allow you to access uh, uh, with any kind of credential and once again it's the choice of the manager to offer the adapted credential to, to the user. So that's uh, also the advantages of using an all-in-one software. And, and also uh, a simple and intuitive software for the manager. So just a plug and play uh, product and a multi-operator system, really easy to use. Uh, you know, privacy is, is an important thing uh, of today's as we are, uh, we've seen a booming of those kind of, of uh, IoT and, and Bluetooth access and so on. Uh, just to remind you that privacy is also something really important at FDI. It means that uh, the manager just need the phone number to, uh, to grant the access with a Bluetooth, with a smartphone, but then the, the phone number is never displayed clearly uh, in the events or, or in the software. So it's also to protect the privacy uh, of a user and it's uh, something I really want to mention because not uh, all the companies are uh, involved in that privacy policy and, and GDPR. So, uh, so this is the advantages of using a global system and all-in-one software for, to manage the access and also there is many many advantages of using Bluetooth access. So of course we get rid of physical keys as mentioned Physical credentials are now the, the old way to access, let's say. And of today, the smartphone becomes your key. Uh, 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 especially when, when access control and mobility are involved, you just select Bluetooth access in the software uh, and, and you, you don't have to send or program the, the physical keys directly on site. So we are creating a smart access, a smart solution uh, uh, to offer many, many possibilities to, uh, to, uh, to the user. Uh, of course, uh, as we've just seen today, uh, we combine physical access control and mobility, which is something of today's world, which is really, really important. And by using our uh, Bluetooth access solution and iPerson access control solution, we grant you using your smartphone to have access to doors, lift, car park, and just by using those virtual credentials. So uh, just a single device solution uh, because uh, the key app the app used uh, to access your building uh, is free to install and works on many operating uh, system on your smartphone. So with the, the, this single device, this single app installed uh, on your smartphone, we offer a uh, multiple way of accessing your building. So the first possibility when, you are, uh, when we are talking about Bluetooth access, it's proximity access. Uh, proximity access, it's really easy to understand uh, and just by, by seeing the picture in front of you, you'll be able to understand what is proximity Bluetooth access. So it's proximity access for doors, uh, so normal doors, sliding doors at the entrance of a building or, or to access your apartment, your premises, anyway, you just swipe your mobile phone and then the access is granted. We uh, will see again uh, later that we offer many, many ways to access your building. You can just swipe your your, uh, your, your mobile phone with the, the app, the key app running in the background uh, and then the door is opening and uh, it could be the door and the lift in front of you. Uh, we offer also a tap tap mode and this kind, this kind of thing which could be really, really handy uh, to access your building. So uh, proximity access is an important thing to mention even if it's really easy to understand. Uh, not everybody is offering the possibility to access with only your mobile device and only with K app installed on your smartphone to access, first of all, doors, but also lifts. 
you know, for the security of your building and also when you welcome you, your visitor on site, you grant him the access to the door, of course, but also to the lift. And everything, all of these kind of accesses can be done with your mobile device, with your smartphone. You don't have to, to buy or to propose any additional physical credential to, to access the building, to access the doors or to access the lift. So it's also the advantages of, of FDI and of offering uh, a global solution. Uh, in addition to proximity access, of course, we propose long range access. Uh, this long range access in the example in front of you is very, very useful uh, for car park management. Uh, a car park management, you don't have to open your car window, you just open the app, press the button and the gate will open. So it's also really, really handy, uh, especially uh, when you're dealing with, uh, with car park access and when we have, you have a, a huge project uh, when you need to manage the access of car park but also of the building. Uh, key app and the Bluetooth access by FDI offer you the possibility to access in proximity or long range access. Uh, th in this example, uh, this, uh, uh, this example shown an access for a car park, but uh, uh, it could be also a, a long range access for a sliding door for a normal entrance. Uh, sometimes it could be uh, really, really useful uh, for some premises when uh, several windows are installed and you, you want to manage long range access for it. So, uh, so all this, all these uh, uh, features are, are proposed by FDI and, and just to show you here in front of you the way for the manager to program a Bluetooth access. So you'll see in front of you the different step to manage the access. So first of all, uh, the, the building manager or the tenant and whoever it is in charge of the access control will select Bluetooth access. Uh, by selecting Bluetooth access, he, he is able to, of course, give to one user uh, the access with his mobile phone and add, for instance, uh, any proximity uh, uh, additional credential. Uh, I mean, once again, you, you decide wh whatever you like. Uh, then uh, he's programming the credential. So in that case, it's virtual credential in IPASEN. And uh, in IPASEN, we design Bluetooth access for any, any kind of daemon. So we have different level of, of accessing the building. The first possibility uh, in iPassant to access your building, it's a, a one day access. So typically it's made for uh, a visitor in a company. So it's maximum one day and uh, the, the in advance, the manager can program uh, uh, the credential uh, for his one day visit, but it could be also uh, one hour. And, and then uh, without any contact, which is uh, of <laughs> because of today, uh, coronavirus crisis, it's contactless, so it's also uh, really important. So for a one-day visitor, the, the person in charge of the access in a company can just program, uh, uh, program uh, the virtual credential on the key app in advance. The second possibility, it's uh, typically we've made this uh, possibility for Airbnb, Airbnb customer. Uh, uh, we called it, uh, for residential project, we called it tourist, and we'll see that for uh, the different project we offer Bluetooth access. Uh, uh, it's an user, so the access will be granted for maximum two weeks. It could be less than that, but it's programmed for maximum two weeks. And also when the, uh, the building manager or the person in, in charge of, of the access control is programming a key, it could be also, uh, let's say, standard access for an employee or a resident. So in that case, it will be an access uh, the whole year and 24 seven, but, but also you, you should know that in high percent we are able to, to manage also time profile, uh, uh, so you're able to, to deal with uh, the hour you want and the time slot you want to grant the access to a resident or an employee. So as soon as uh, the building manager has created the user and has selected uh, um, a virtual credential Bluetooth access in the software, then, uh, then a, a notification is sent to the users and now the user, after downloading the app, he can have access to the building, so uh, he can have access to the building. So now let's be focused on, on the user point of view. Uh, for the user, as soon as an access is granted for him, he receives a notification saying that uh, an access has been granted and you need to download the key app on the store. Then the, um, the user is downloading the app by just uh, clicking on the link. So he's downloading the app, whatever the, uh, the operating software is on his smartphone because the key app is available on Google Play or on the App Store, so no problem. Whatever the, the device you use is, you are able to, um, to, to use the app. So it's just downloading the app 
and then uh, he will see uh, by opening the app, he will, he will, um, the app will ask him to inform his mobile phone number. So just for the first launch, because after that, as soon as it is installed and uh, the phone number has been validated, you don't have to do all of that process. It's just the first time uh, a Bluetooth access is granted with Ski app, you need, you need to do all those uh, different steps. So you need to put his mobile phone number, then, uh, then he will receive an access code. He will have to enter by text message, he will receive this access code. He will have to enter this access code, uh, uh, code inside the app and then he will be able to see all the access uh, uh, um, and the door he, he can have access on, on the building. So this is all the process he, he needs to do before uh, having the access granted in the app. So once again, it's just the first time you, you have Bluetooth access. After that, as soon as the app is, uh, is, uh, uh, is installed on your smartphone, you don't have to do all of this process. Uh, it's just the first time you launch. Uh, we just want, because uh, Bluetooth Access as API is linked to a mobile phone number. So by doing this process is to check that uh, the mobile phone, which has been informed uh, by the manager is, is a, a valid number. And then after uh, all these steps, which only take a, a few minutes, uh, the user, the end user can just swipe and access to the building. So uh, also because uh, the end user experience is, uh, uh, also a main purpose because when you're proposing a security and access control inside a company, it's really important to involve uh, not only the manager, but of course the end user. So uh, in front of you, you have different pictures showing, uh, showing the app. Uh, what is really important to know is we have made an easy and intuitive interface adapted to any kind of user, uh, especially now where uh, it's, a, as, as I mentioned, it's a mobile first uh, system. So everybody is, uh, have a lot of knowledge uh, using a mobile device to do whatever they like, uh, even consulting the, the bank account and so on. So this easy and intuitive interface uh, allows the user to view all of the accesses. So in front of you, in the middle of the page, you'll see that you have one site. On the same site, you have two different doors you can have access. And also the user is able to see uh, the doorway have access and also at what time he can access to this door. Uh, and you can see that as soon as a, a reader and a door is detected nearby, the, uh, um, the icon on the, um, the K app becomes blue. So you can just swipe or you know, press the button to access, to access the building. And also because we really want to personalize uh, the end user experience, we propose different settings that the, um, that the, the user is able to, to, to deal with. Uh, first of all, because uh, uh, we want to have an app which is, uh, let's say, a DDA compliant. So by default, the sound is activated and the vibration are, are activated, but uh, uh, the end user can deactivate or activate this function is once again to personalize the experience. Uh, also, uh, because Bluetooth, even if Bluetooth is a, is a universal protocol, we offer the possibility to the end user to adjust the reading range. Uh, some device might have a very long Bluetooth reading range and some other a short one. So uh, by, by using the, uh, these settings inside the, inside the app, the end user will be able to adjust the reading range. Uh, for instance, uh, it could be very interesting for an end user by having a, a long distance for his Bluetooth just to keep his mobile phone in his pocket and have the access granted. So no need to, to put out his mobile phone when you have a, a high sensibility and, and the adaptive uh, access control system can just keep it in his pocket. And, and the last two thing is to uh, optimize and to also to offer the best uh, user experience is that you can allow the app to run in the background uh, in, in your smartphone or you can deactivate that function. And, and, and the, the last one is also to, to increase and enhance the security. You can say, right, I just, I don't want to have the app running uh, on my smartphone every time. So I, and to increase the security in case I lose my, my mobile phone, I want to unlock my phone to, uh, to have the access granted. So it can be unlocked by face recognition, by a, a fingerprint, by code. So it offers also many, many uh, additional uh, security when we are talking uh, uh, about, about uh, Bluetooth access. So this Bluetooth access is the perfect solution for different kinds of projects. So I'm just showing in front of you uh, a few examples 
uh, where you can propose uh, uh, access control system. Uh, of course, th th there is many, many, many different projects you will discover uh, on your uh, on your market. But it's just for me to give you ideas where um, where in this mobile first world, uh, uh, Bluetooth access is a perfect op option. Uh, um, you know, for Bluetooth access, there are many, many advantages for the end user, uh, as I just de described below. But mobile credential provide the flexibility and added convenience of card-free access from a mobile device. And that's really important to know when we are talking about those uh, three different segments uh, in, in the market. But the first thing by using a Bluetooth access is that you don't have issues with people who lost or forgotten cards and tags. Uh, and by get rid of physical uh, credential, just by presenting uh, his mobile phone, uh, he, he, he can have uh, the, the access to the building. You can customize the reading range so with uh, an adapted uh, uh, customer experience. So, but there are many, many different advantages on those different projects, uh, wh whoever you are. So, for instance, when you are talking about residential project, uh, uh, which is uh, which could be uh, uh, the perfect uh, the perfect credential for this kind of of. Uh, of segment of the market is that uh, by using the iPassant solution, access control solution, you're able to propose the adapted credential. Even if now I think 99.9% uh, .9 of the people have a smartphone, so uh, potentially 99% uh, of the people can use Bluetooth access to access your premises, you still leave the choice to, uh, to the people and to the end user to choose uh, whatever he likes. So, you know, compared with traditional cards and tags, mobile credential uh, really offer a more convenient end user experience uh, by enabling a smartphone or other uh, a mobile device uh, and to secretly unlock uh, your, the door of your premises. And that's really, really something uh, impo important to know uh, because even if it's the communication, the communication, it's uh, let's say through the air, in the air, uh, uh, also uh, for the security of your building, First of all, you don't have any key sharing, but also by using Bluetooth access and because we integrate a lot of security protocol inside our system, uh, we enhance the security of your buildings. You know, you get rid of, of the key sharing uh, because it's really, really easy to, to learn, you know, to share a proximity card, but I, I don't think that somebody will share a smartphone because everybody needs it for different, different kind of functionalities. So uh, this is a proof that uh, 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 by using Bluetooth access, it will enhance the security of, of your building. So uh, security of a building, it's of course really important when we are talking about residential project, but it's in my opinion, even more important when we are talking about business organization. And, and you know, in the business organization uh, also, uh, uh, and especially today, we have uh, uh, an increase of the trends that we call, uh, uh, you know, bring your own device. And, and by bring, bringing their own device, they can not only uh, uh, use the device and bring to uh, any kind of functionality calling or whoever it is, but they can also use this uh, mobile device to access the building. Uh, and that's also a, a, a proof that it's enhancing the, the security of your building. Of course, uh, it's the ideal credential to welcome your visitor, uh, especially now. Uh, I'm not really happy to say that, but uh, you know, in this coronavirus uh, and COVID-19 crisis, uh, when uh, people want to sometimes to avoid contact between each other, uh, and you, you really still need to, to welcome your visitor by proposing Bluetooth access, which is a contactless uh, system. You just program the key or uh, the access in advance and without any contact, without uh, uh, going at the reception, uh, the visitor can access your building, which could be, which could be car park, lift, as we've just seen before. So, uh, and also, uh, uh, you know, regarding uh, business organization, what is really, really important uh, uh, regarding, regarding Bluetooth access is that you're saving time. You know, you're using a cloud-based portal and to centrally manage mobile, uh, mobile access, and it gives more time to, to your employees and optimize the time to your employees while, while dealing with, uh, uh, with um, Bluetooth access. At the same time, it's uh, another, another features offered by iPerson that you can directly import uh, uh, users and then from that import of the users in an Excel sheet, for instance, you can directly grant uh, automatically the access, uh, the Bluetooth access.
And once again, and when we are talking about access control uh, system, it's really important that everybody is involved in that in that security policy of a company. So uh, by dealing with with uh, uh, IPASAN and with Bluetooth access using our K app uh, on your smartphone, it's really simply for the manager to program uh, uh, the access to the end user. You know, the end user just mentioned received the invitation by, by, via email and just have to download an app, which uh, everybody is doing that today. And it's uh, really easy after that to use their smart device, devices. Uh, and uh, another uh, really important thing to know when we are talking about a uh, business organization is that uh, uh, sometimes, and especially today in a, in a global uh, world, it's, you can man easily manage the access when you have multiple locations in your company. So, you know, the organization have offices, you know, sometimes around uh, uh, an old country, but sometimes also around the world. And it's really, really easy, uh, you know, to manage the access uh, when you have different location with Bluetooth. You don't need to, to send a credential, physical credential or program credential uh, upon arrival. It can be all done, uh, done in advance. So it's really, really uh, easy and handy uh, when you have multiple locations to lose Bluetooth, to use, sorry, Bluetooth access. And also in the same time, uh, and especially it regarding business organization that uh, uh, you have many, many co-working places, uh, uh, you know, arriving all, all over the world, sometimes close to airport or close to, uh, to many uh, transport uh, infrastructure. And in this kind of co-working location, uh, you, most of the time you don't have any manager on site or you don't have a person uh, in charge of the access on site. So by you proposing uh, Bluetooth access, and especially if you if you add this Bluetooth access to booking management system, uh, it's really really adapted for uh, for for location where you don't have anybody on site and when you, you need to deal remotely with the access of your building. And this is also a, a link to our last uh, segment of the market, which is more uh, targeted to tourists. And uh, you know, and it's also uh, 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 an advantage of Bluetooth access and using key app with FDI IPASAN that uh, uh, especially for touristic places or leisure places location they can plan and welcome your guests in advance so by saying that I mean that uh, as it is a contactless access uh, uh, you know by programming the Bluetooth access in advance you can easily uh, easily manage uh, uh, everything in advance and without any contact uh, I think the most clear example, uh, the clearest example is that when you have a guest which will arrive in the middle of the night with nobody uh, uh, at the reception, uh, you can uh, in advance program the access, the guest will be happy as he doesn't have to, to, to do many, many phone calls in advance, it will just receive the notification and he will be able to arrive uh, at any time, even in the middle of the night and even when uh, uh, nobody is, is uh, at the reception. So. Uh, in this kind of business, but it's also linked to to, um, to, to the business organization. You're able to uh, to welcome uh, uh, all your user, all the guests at any time of the day, and also program it in advance. And once again, it's contactless. So even when the reception is closed, you grant the access to 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 your building. Uh, also, when we mention tourism, but it's a mix between tourism and residential uh, building. It, that uh, uh, also Bluetooth access is a perfect access for Airbnb customer. Uh, when uh, you know the uh, the person, the uh, building manager, still wants to to manage the access and to know who has access to his building or not, and sometimes we, we we've seen a few. Uh, people using old kind of proximity card uh, and you know the, the, the owner were, were cloning or copying uh, his card so at the end of the day it was not they were not able to, to, to see who was really on site and who has access to the building but by using uh, a Bluetooth access for tourism and especially for Airbnb customer uh, uh, the owner is able to grant the access to his guest uh, and, uh, uh, and even the building manager is able to know that uh, this uh, access has been, uh, you know, this tenant, this owner uh, asked for an access for Airbnb customer and is able to, to, track, uh, to track the access, uh, even if it's not the resident himself on site, but a, a tourist, a guest. So uh, you've seen that uh, this is the few examples I've just shown you regarding, regarding uh, uh, Bluetooth access. Uh, I just want to conclude the, the today's webinar with 
uh, you know, small summary of, uh, of all the, the possibility offered with our, um, with our Bluetooth access is that, you know, uh, uh, once again, the security is our, our main purpose, uh, purpose uh, for uh, main concern as an access control company. So, uh, you know, you enhance the security of your building. I'm just mentioning that, but, but you know, even if this PIN code can be uh, easily shared and also proximity, proximity cards can be uh, vulnerable, let's say, because it's really easy to, to share a, a, a proximity card, which is just a plastic thing for the user, but nobody will share, or me, I will not share my smartphone with somebody else. So it's also the, the, uh, the security and that's something really, really, uh, really want to mention today that uh, Bluetooth access is not some, something just uh, fun and easy, easy for the end user. It's also something which can uh, really enhance the security of, of your building. Uh, and also by using, uh, um, mobile access and key app uh, with FDI is that you, with digital, let's say digital or virtual credential, you offer also many, many different uh, features to the end user and a, a personalized user experience uh, um, with a strong encryption also. Uh, strong encryption, it means that the communication between the mobile phone and the readers and all the system, uh, uh, all the system behind. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, smart readers, once again, uh, uh, smart, uh, smart devices like uh, our, our two smart readers and iPerson offer many, many possibilities, even long distance reading. So by just keeping uh, the mobile phone in his pocket, uh, a resident, an employee or visitor can have access to, to his building. So it's also really, really convenient for, for, uh, for the end user. And it's also, it's also um, and I can understand that sometimes it might be uh, um, difficult to understand, let's say, for a manager, but uh, uh, it's, it's also mobile devices are really, really changing. That's what I mentioned before. So everybody is using uh, um, his mobile phone to, to, to have a view on his bank account to, to, deal, to buy his uh, uh, flight tickets or whatever. Uh, so it's really important that access control in this, uh, is included in this kind, uh, in this kind of, uh, of uh, let's say, a mobile first revolution. And, and uh, once again, it's the adapted solution for access, physical access control and mobility solution. And you have also a decrease by using uh, Bluetooth access and especially FDI key app proposing all this, all this global solution. And that you uh, also by enhancing the security, you have a, a, a big decrease of cards or remote control, which are lost. So it's also really, really cost efficient for you. And, and even, uh, even that's something I forgot to mention that uh, when, when a mobile phone is lost or is stolen uh, by using the iPerson and the online connected system, you, are, you can easily um, stop the access uh, to, to one user after, after uh, this user reported that he, he's lost his mobile phone. Uh, and, and also uh, when we mentioned we are talking about Bluetooth access, is that uh, those smartphone and smart devices uh, support multi-factor authentication. Uh, I, I mentioned earlier in the app that you can uh, add biometric face recognition to your access. And once again, uh, uh, as FDI we respect this privacy, as the fingerprint access or biometric access will be done by the mobile phone. So it's uh, it's not only it's not only uh, regarding security; it's also regarding privacy. You can just uh, uh, unlock your smartphone by. Uh, uh, with your fingerprint or unlock your, your smartphone with face recognition and then you have the access granted. So we offer many, many different kinds uh, of solutions. So many, many different kinds of advantages for the manager and also many, many, uh, a lot of advantages for, uh, for uh, the end user. So I can imagine the students who are really, really, really happy to use this smartphone will be also really happy and involved in the security policy to have access to access a building uh, with a smartphone. So I hope I, I, I was clear in, uh, in that presentation. Uh, I, I will just finish uh, uh, um, the, the, patient, the presentation of today's webinar by uh, just to remind you that uh, uh, the uh, upcoming, uh, uh, just to remind you our upcoming uh, summer webinar. So all of this summer, we'll, uh, we'll, we, have, we have already started showing you the, the booking management system and visitor management system with FDI. So today it was our second summer webinar. And our summer session are shown in front of you. 
and, and uh, the next webinar uh, next week and the week after the, the next webinar will be uh, will be uh, dedicated to the security, security solution by FDI. I've started mentioning that today uh, for uh, our smart reader, but uh, security uh, policy at FDI means that it's not only access our readers, it's also the global environment of FDI, which is uh, focused on, on security solution. Um, and the last one of, for the summer uh, webinar uh, uh, in July will be uh, all of our solution for residential buildings. Uh, of course, uh, FDI has product adapted to any kind of, of uh, um, project, which could be a residential, commercial, um, or even, even co-working places and so on. But uh, the last webinar uh, this summer will be the solution for the residential buildings. So I hope uh, you will come uh, and see me again <laughs> for this, this webinar this summer. And I, I will be glad to, to show you uh, and make you understand what is FDI and uh, all, all the, the, the products uh, we are able to offer you. So the, 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 forgot to mention that uh, the next the webinar next week will, will last uh, 30 minutes and for the FDI uh, uh, residential buildings will be the same time of today's webinar. So let's say approximately uh, an hour. So thank you very much to uh, listen to me. Uh, I invite you to ask once again all of your questions uh, on in the chat. Uh, just give you the time to, to ask all of your questions. Maybe I will check if we have uh, already a question. Yes, I'm just looking at Laurent because it's near me and has uh, probably answered many, many questions in the chat. But yes, we've got one and we have a question regarding the partner portal and how to store uh, the credits. So we have a, a, a web interface where you can uh, store the credits. Uh, you don't have, depending who you are, a partner or wholesaler, you use this, this account to manage the credits to grant uh, Bluetooth access. Uh, but as soon as it's linked to your iPerson system, you use only iPerson. Uh, and once again, it's uh, the advantages of that uh, uh, global solution. Maybe another question, Laurent? Yes. Uh, oh, yes. An another good question. Uh, Everybody is promoting the, the cloud uh, iPerson version. Uh, but, you know, uh, iPerson is able also to, to, to manage the access uh, when it's locally uh, installed on the site without any internet connection. So. Uh, so, so you know, you can use Bluetooth access uh, even if the, your uh, uh, iPerson uh, controllers are not connected to the internet. You just need a, an internet connection while you are programming um, the access for, for your resident to send all the notification. Maybe a last one. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the last one, yeah. We've got a question saying that, uh, is it possible to update an existing site uh, using uh, physical, uh, physical uh, cards of proximity cards and updating this site with Bluetooth access? So yes, it's possible, uh, uh, of course, and um, especially if you have already installed our new range of reader, but even if you don't install that reader, uh, it's really, really easy uh, to, to update and to upgrade your existing site with Bluetooth access. So it's possible. Uh, uh, we have the latest generation of reader. And so it's really, really uh, easy and handy to upgrade a site where you normally use a proximity card with Bluetooth access. And, and uh, especially you can also uh, uh, upgrade a site. So having to have 100% of the access with Bluetooth, but you are able to, uh, to, to add to a user the possibility to access with, with Bluetooth. So, I mean, you can have a proximity card, a remote control, and in, that, in addition of all of this, of this credential, we offer the possibility to him to access the building with, uh, with the K-App. Okay. So maybe uh, uh, other question in the, in the chat. So you still have a few minutes to ask your question or take your time because we have plenty of time uh, in front of us. Uh, on my side, I'd like to, to thank you all to participate to this uh, second webinar. I hope to, to see you uh, soon for the other, other solution we will show, uh, show in, the, in the upcoming webinars this summer. So thank you again. I hope, hope you'll be a part of, uh, of our next webinar uh, and hope to, to, to see you soon. Uh, and once again, uh, do not hesitate to contact us if you have uh, any potential project or if you have any question regarding uh, FDI solution. 
I'll be really happy and, and the team with me, the FDI team will be really, really happy to, to answer uh, all of your questions. So uh, do not hesitate, you have uh, all my contact details. You can also reply to this invitation uh, you received for the webinar. So please feel free to ask us for any project, any question you might have. Okay, I will ask Laurent if he has uh, any more question. It seems okay, so it seems that we answer all of your questions. And I hope you will, you will enjoy soon the, the using of Bluetooth access with uh, FDI K app, and I invite you to download it directly. All right, thank you all. Uh, hope to see you soon, and uh, we'll be able to talk together again. Thank you, and goodbye. Have a good day.